Discover all about our wood composite garden products on duofuse.com. Today I'm going to install a tongue and groove board system made of wood composite, a material which is made of wood flour and PVC. It combines the advantages of wood with the advantages of plastic. The result will be a garden fence which won't need maintenance and which will not rot, swell, splinter or split, but does have the warmth and look of solid wood. For every project I start at the wall. Once the first post is sawn to length, I can drill the post which then serves as a reference for the holes in the wall. With some wedges, plugs and long stainless steel screws, I attach the post vertical to the wall. To work accurately, I install the first and then the last post, so that I have a reference to install everything in a nice straight line and equally high. Here the last post has to be anchored into the soil, preferably with one third of the total length underground. A brick or equivalent material at the bottom may be used to prevent the post from sinking. The easiest way of placing the last post as high as the first is by using an outdoor laser. When I stretch a line from the top of the first post to the last post, I get a mark for the height of the posts and I have a straight line to place the other posts. For the distance between the posts, I take the following dimensions into account. The length of the boards which slide in, a centimeter expansion space, and the thickness of the U profiles at both ends. The second post of the fencing will also be mounted on the patio. Therefore, I mount a stainless steel fence post support with a base plate in which to attach the post along the line mark of where to level the posts. The post itself is made of wood composite, but inside it, it's reinforced with an impregnated wooden core attached to the post with a screw at one end. Any alterations to the length of the post must be made from the opposite end where the screw is attached. I put the side with the screw into the fence post support and attach it securely. This ensures that the impregnated end of wood remains sealed. The U profiles are cut so that they are 5.5 cm shorter than the post. So later the horizontal U profile can be added on top of the boards. The U profiles have to be attached every 40 cm to the post. Once the U-profiles are attached, the boards can be slid down from above into the U-profiles. The tongue and groove board allows for a tight interlock. Keep the marks in the board always at the same side to avoid colour differences. When placing the fencing in the garden, dig a hole and put the posts into it using long wooden battens and clamps to ensure the post remains vertical until the concrete has set. Each hole has to be filled for two-thirds with stabilized sand, concrete or fast-setting concrete. When the concrete has become hard, I can fill the rest of the hole with hard-pressed soil so that I can sow or plant afterwards. Once the posts are set, you can slide the boards down into place. To finish the fencing, push a U-profile on top of the last fence panels and screw or glue a cover cap on top of every post. Thank you.